So in previous videos, when we talked about addition polymerization and condensation polymerization, we mainly talked about chemicals and compounds that we make in factories or in labs and so on and so forth. So now let's move on to another approach to making polymers and this approach is the biopolymer. Now, polymers also exist naturally and where do we get those natural polymers? Well, they are found in the polymer factories and those polymer factories are the plants. Well, sur as surprisingly as this sounds, in the plant there is glucose and there is carbohydrates and there is proteins and fats and so on and so forth and these different compounds are actually polymers. So let's see how that goes. Now in plants, the plants take the sunlight into their leaves let me switch the font so they take the sunlight into their leaves with the presence of chlorophyll as a catalyst to produce glucose now let's write this reaction so it takes carbon dioxide from the air with the water from the soil to give us glucose which is C6H12O6 solid plus oxygen gas. Now this oxygen gas is released back in the air for us humans to breathe and the glucose is used up by the plant. How is it used up by the plant? Now the glucose which is C6H12O6, let's write it as glucose, is used as an energy source for the plant to keep on producing the carbohydrates and the proteins and stuff like that. So the plants use the glucose as an energy source and this helps the plant produce starch. And starch produces carbohydrates and also proteins and fats. And these all of these are polymers, but they are biopolymers because they are produced naturally in plants and in soils and so on and so forth. So in the next video, we're going to be talking about carbohydrates, proteins and fats and all of these in details and the reactions and how are the formed using polymerization but in this case it's a kind of a natural polymerization so stay tuned and thanks for watching